you have to think of it as an upside down Lego brick. Caisson is basically a concrete shoebox, if you want, but just far bigger scale. We're talking about a eight and a half thousand ton concrete block. Caissons are the foundation of the key walls for the harbour. There are 22 caissons on the project. There are six on the northeast key. There are eight on the east key. The remaining caissons form the southeast pier. The average size of the caissons we're installing here in Aberdeen are about 50 metres long, 12 metres or 15 metres wide in some cases, and with a depth of maybe 12 metres deep. The caissons for our project were made in La Coruña in Spain and then once they've been constructed there they're taken on the back of a semi-submersible vessel and they're transported up to the Cromarty Firth for uh, temporary storage until we're ready to take them to Aberdeen. So I've been involved in this project for three years now and I'm personally responsible for the maintenance and as such I've been here every single day, at least twice a week, every week checking these caissons. So the shape of them, obviously, like, it's like a box, so they obviously float, which en enables them to be towed anywhere and installed in a harbour anywhere in the world, really. We've got to be quite strict with the weather parameters when we're moving the caissons, because you can imagine they're a big concrete box. They're not designed really for moving around in the open water. They're designed for being part of the structure. What I'm standing on is a steel plate. There's a lattice construction of concrete hollows below me and there's nothing for 20, 25 feet. That's it, I hope you like heights. There's so many things just to fall into place, the tug availability, we need a three day weather window before they can even leave Cromarty. Well, right now I'm standing on top of G16. Currently she's underway, having just been removed from her moorings as we're heading out of the Firth to sea on our way to Aberdeen. We need good weather conditions to tow the caissons to Aberdeen. We're concerned about the swell, the tides, the wind speed and the wind direction. G16 will arrive in the bay here with the tug all the way from Invergordon. Then we send out one of the harbour tugs to connect to the, to the starn of the caisson. And we've also got a multi-card vessel called the Green Isle which will assist and pushing the case on sideways into the berth. It's our responsibility to take over from there. The seabed is prepared and levelling stone is put in before the case on sinks down onto the bed. We pump them full of water to install them on the bed. Over the period of weeks following that process, solid material is put into the caissons and that will displace the water. Also on top of the stone there's another two metres of concrete to go which will form the deck level to enable cranes and trucks and everything to drive over the top of them. Some aspects do require that, it's like for instance we might do a seabed inspection before uh, the caisson comes in. After the caisson is on the seabed we might have to put the divers in to remove the tow points because when the caisson sinks they obviously go under the water as well. If we haven't got time to remove them before we install the caisson, sometimes it's just easy to do it after with the divers. The insulation tolerance on the caissons is about 150 mil in all directions, but we try and get it as bang on as we possibly can. For instance, H15 was only 30 mil out at the east end, and I mean, you don't get much better as that. Every time a caisson leaves, it's like a little bit more of the project is now complete. There's one less caisson to look after. The team here have been excellent, they've all pulled together. We've had challenges, we've had logistical issues to overcome, but as a whole, it's gone very well, very safely, and I'm proud to be involved in the project to this scale.